Okay, so for my terminology, we're going to talk about office condominiums uh, as a whole, condominiums as well. Uh, I'm going to spend some time just discussing what is an office condo, how does it work, what are some of the intricacies of it. And so an office condominium is really a, uh, a portion of a larger area where they have parceled off smaller spaces so that somebody has the ability to buy their own space in a larger complex. So what will happen is a condominium association will actually have its own association where there are members in that association. So every owner in that condominium, so if there's 10 units and you own one, then you have a 10% ownership in the whole association. And so what happens is you pay every month this condo association fee that goes towards taking care of the common area maintenance, so landscaping, roofs, the exterior, uh, the pavement, you know, maybe some of the parking areas, et cetera. And so it allows you to share some of the expenses with other people within the complex and still be able to own your own <clears throat> facility. These became pretty popular uh, probably back in the late 70s and 80s and then even into the 90s and 2000s. They really heated up or allows owners, doctors, small business owners to buy their own office condo. And so the challenge is a lot of times with financing is that because they only own a portion of it, lenders are a little bit leery at times if they ever have to foreclose on the property that now they're stuck with uh, potentially eating some of the bill. So for example, they could have an assessment in a couple of years where everybody has to pay a certain amount and there's really no negotiating it. And so lenders, when they're dealing with financing investment properties in there, they're a little bit more leery uh, to do those. But that's an office condo. Uh, you'll see that from time to time, mostly on owner-occupied deals, but sometimes on investor. It's trickier on investor, but for owner-occupied, it's pretty straightforward for someone buying their building, paying a monthly fee, being a part of the association, and then taking care of their exterior by that fee. So this is a little bit about office condos, and now hopefully you understand a little bit more about them.